mattress sutures can be inserted to allow for eversion or inversion. They can also be used for irregular skin edges. We will demonstrate here a vertical mattress suture. The suture is put in as you see in the standard manner. The needle is reversed and then taking just a small bite of the skin edges the suture is completed and a reef knot tied. A second vertical mattress suture is inserted. The suture is placed. The needle then reversed in the needle holder and then go back, taking just a few millimeters of skin edges. The knot is then tied and the suture material cut. Let's insert just one more vertical mattress suture in at right angles. Reverse the needle and then going back, just taking the wound edges as seen. We will now demonstrate the horizontal mattress suture. The initial suture is as before. Again, reverse the needle in the needle holder, but on this occasion move slightly horizontally and go back to the other side of the incision in a similar manner. One can see very clearly why this is called a horizontal mattress suture. Once again, the reef knot is tied in the standard manner and the suture material cut. We will now insert another horizontal mattress suture. The suture is inserted in the standard manner. The needle reversed and then returned to the opposite side of the wound parallel to the initial traverse. The suture is then secured with a reef knot. Both vertical and horizontal mattress sutures can be useful for ensuring eversion or inversion of wound edges, and this is clearly demonstrated by diagrams in your handbook. The difference between the vertical mattress suture and the horizontal mattress suture can easily be seen in this demonstration.